welcome to dpv technology in this video we will design a circuit that will display the temperature and humidity on the display that is coming from the dht11 temperature and humidity sensor with the help of arduino so let's get started you can buy all types of electronic components modules sensors at best price from www.dpvtechnology.com for this project we need a dht11 temperature and humidity sensor module you will get this module with different colors and different pin orientation but everything will be same except that then we need a 16 into 2 lcd module then we need a 10k potentiometer an arduino uno board a bunch of male to male and male to female jumper wires and arduino uno usb cable also we need a 100 ohm or 220 ohm or 330 ohm resistor or you can use any value from 100 ohm to 1k and a breadboard the link of these components are given in the description of this video you can also buy from there now here is our connections so this is the arduino uno and this is the lcd and here is the dht11 module and we can see the ground pin of the dht11 should be connected to ground pin of this arduino same as here the vcc pin vcc pin should be connected to 5 volt pin of arduino so here directly connected 5 volt and this signal pin or data pin should be connected to pin number d8 digital 8 pin of arduino then connect this lcd according to this diagram so here is the 100 ohm resistor you can choose this resistor in between 100 ohm to 1k and here is the 10k potentiometer you can also choose this potentiometer from 1k to 10k any value from 1k to 10k so connect according to this circuit diagram here is our connection so this is the lcd display and this is the 100 ohm resistor and this is the arduino uno and here is the potentiometer 10k pot trim pot and here is our module now connect your arduino board to your pc through the arduino usb cable now to use this sensor with arduino uno we have to download this dst11 library the link is given in the description of this video the link will redirect you to this web website this is github and you have to download this code uh, sorry download this library so click on clone or download then download as zip so dst11 master save it now open your arduino ide software then go to sketch then go to include library to include the zip library that we have downloaded so now go to add zip library then go to your downloaded folder so we we have kept it at desktop so here is the dst1 on master click on that and it will be automatically added to your arduino library so here we can see library added to your libraries here is our code you can download this code by going to the description of this video link is there now here in this code we can see at first we have included the, this dht11 library that we have downloaded from github then we have included the liquid crystal library for our lcd module then the dht11 digital pin is connected at pin 8 so we have written here you can sense this pin if you want then you have to also sense in your connection you can choose any digital pin here now we have created a dht object of dht11 type then this is for liquid crystal that is for our display now in the void setup we have right written here serial.begin9600 to observe the value here in on the serial monitor now this is this line for begin the lcd begin our to begin our lcd then in the void loop at first we have read the this dht pin that is pin number eight then we have stored the temperature 
in this int type variable named temperature and then humidity is stored in uh, int type variable named humidity then these values are printed on lcd now upload this code now here we can see the temperature is now 29 degree celsius and humidity percentage is 74 now if we will warm up the sensor so here is my cup of tea so i will keep this sensor here so i can see the humidity is increasing 91 95 percent as now then we have to wait for few seconds so we can see now temperature is also increasing it is now 30 degree now 31 degree celsius 32 degree celsius so our sensor and our modules all these things are working properly if you will not get output on the display then first check your connections if you will not get here any values then first check your connections after that you have to uh, rotate this knob if all the connections are okay then you have to ro rotate this potentiometer knob here we can see this is the knob if we will rotate it you can see everything has gone from the display so you have to adjust this potentiometer knob you can buy all these modules sensors breadboard jumper wires arduino this cable everything you will get at our website dpvtechnology.com at best price so visit the website to check all these things thank you